<coughs> Hi people, my new reason to here again as always, and as usual. Yeah, you can tell from the header what it's going to be about as always. Um, I'm going to discuss uh, why the occult world is so polarized. And by polarized, for those of you that don't know by any, by any happenstance or by happenstance, what polarized means, it simply stands for divided. People that are familiar with occultists and people that practice the occult and overall the overall psychic world okay anything that has to do with esotericism or spirituality it's a world that's divided most people that form part of this global community they more often than not nine out of ten times or 99 out of 100 times they don't get along well with each other at some point um generally speaking or superficially you would say that that is due to simply a difference in mindset and a difference in ideas but of course, it is definitely not normal to see like so many people so divided and against one another, despite the fact it, it's like a paradox. They're part of the community, in a matter of speaking, they're part of this global community, as in, hey, it's like, it's like a, a, a thing, a forum for, for bookkeepers, global bookkeepers organization. And then imagine if every bookkeeper or like, it com it's comprised out of a million bookkeepers and 90% of all those bookkeepers do not get along well with each other or they've had a fight with one another or they've tried undermining each other or anything like that. It's going to be very weird. Honestly, it, refer it, it reminds me of a saying that uh, Jesus said in the New Testament, any house divided will not stand. That doesn't literally apply to this situation though because the occult community is still present and it will always be present but Unfortunately, I don't think it'll ever thrive. Uh, I'm theoretically speaking part of that community, only in the sense that you could label me as such, just like every other person that has an interest in esotericism. But um, of course, at the same time, I want no part of it. I have nothing against, obviously, as much as I love the occult, it's who I am, down to the core. And... I, all, I more than welcome people practicing and taking an interest in the occult, but um, I want nothing to do with occultists in general, uh, specifically practitioners and whatnot. Like I said, my clientele and the people that approach me for spirit work and any other work, yeah, these people are normal you know, for the absolute most part and I get quite getting along. I get along well with them and I enjoy getting along with them and, and interacting with them. Well, like I said, they're exceptions. They're like the one to five percent of the occult community. Globally, again, I've already wait, wait until the end screen or check the link in the description. You'll find the article on my article on the occult world and its embedded videos. This video is going to be one of them. Um, in terms of what the global occult community is like, uh, my point is this video is a short piece on why it's so polarizing. Why do so many people that have an interest in occultism or esotericism not get along not get along well with each other and why do they on some occasions even like actively try to destroy each other or just just outright destroy each other um the reason is quite similar to the saying uh there is no loyalty or honor among thieves the same way that the criminal world doesn't have loyalty you hypothetically speaking rob a bank with an accomplice the accomplice has no problem shooting you in your leg so that the authorities can actually catch you and so can he, he can get away scot-free at the same time, um, provided that you're being chased by said authorities. Um, generally speaking, like I said, um, people of such a stock or such a nature, they don't know what loyalty is and unity and whatnot. And of course, I'm not comparing the occult world even to anything that resembles criminal behavior or anything that resembles the underworld. But I am saying that within set, within aforementioned context, there is a similarity in the sense that occultists in general have no real loyalty to one another. They're also prone to stabbing each other in the back and whatnot. Now, the simplified reason, but there is no other reason really. The plain and simple reason is that is it's due to the nature of people that have an interest in the occult. These people by default or by nature are divisive. They don't have a strong hive mind kind of mentality where unity and strength in numbers prevails. You know, I've already discussed all of it, what, what the average person that has an interest in occultism or esotericism is like. 
you know, uh, poor more often than not, living below the poverty line, uh, because their personality is geared as such, um, suffering from at least one mundane mental illness, um, just someone that belongs to the lowest class of society in general, someone that is not doing well in life, or just let's just say a bona fide loser in general. Um, so you can imagine, and more often than not, these people also lack morals up to a certain degree or extent. And uh, you can imagine if you have an entire group, hundreds of thousands or millions of these kind of people that bluntly put, it's just going to be a shit show. You're going to have all of those people together, all of those people together. And some of them will get along well with each other, you know, depending on the situation. Those are exceptions. But generally speaking, the others will get, at best, will get along well with each other at a superficial level. But sooner or later, personalities are going to collide. And um, as a result or consequence, um, as a result or consequence, these people will simply not, uh, they'll simply not get along well with each other. And more often than not, these people have a tendency to be deceptive. They have a deceptive nature. Um, and yeah. When push comes to shove, they'll screw each other over, they'll throw each other, on, on, other under the bus. They will do whatever it takes and generally speaking, they're also not honest and trustworthy. They will rarely, if any at all, um, admit to their own shortcomings and simply say, hey, listen, you know, I was in the wrong, apologies, blah, 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 etc, etc. No, that's not going to happen in general. So again, the plain and simple reason is the personality of an esoteric or occult enthusiast, someone that has an interest in such. The person simply, most of these people have toxic mentalities and uh, you can imagine when you put an entire group of those people together, it's just a shit show. It's just, uh, again, it's like um, mixing, it's like mixing several things, to, honestly. It's like mixing several toxic substances with each other. The outcome in general can't possibly be positive. And of course, these substances won't, hypothetically speaking, get along well with each other. They're going to come into conflict with one another. It's like putting uh, several parasites uh, under a Petri dish in the same Petri dish. These parasites are going to, they're going to try to kill each other outright instead of banding together and uniting against a so-called common enemy, <laughs> the, the common enemy, common enemy being you. Or just similar, you know, they, they lack a constructive attitude that makes it so that they get along well with each other. Generally speaking, these people don't get along well easily with others overall, but uh, especially when it comes to getting along with other occultists or, or uh, esoteric uh, enthusiasts, yeah, don't expect uh, anything in the way of uh, wholesomeness, if you will, anything that resembles the Brady Bunch or similar or friends. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's all. Let me know if you have any thoughts and I'll see you guys some other time. Bye.